What's up guys, it's your boy Mr. K back with another video, hope you're all doing well and today we'll be reviewing the PS4. I know what you're thinking, PS4 in 2021, it's like 7 years old and PS5 is out. But remember, there's actually a lot of stock issues right now and I believe that it will continue for quite a while. But by the end of this video, I'll help you decide if you should even buy one in 2021 or should you just wait for the availability of the PS5 so you can buy one. So the PS4 is generally £260, so this is basically half the price of a PS5 already. So it's already a positive and you're getting pretty much the same experience already. But let's actually go to the proper review now. So starting off with the positives. The first pro is it has a mass amount of exclusive games such as Ghost of Tsushima, Uncharted 4, those are just some of my favourites. It has just such a large library of games especially story games if you really enjoy that type of thing you actually really enjoy ps4 even though it's kind of old now but ps5 hardly has any exclusive games at the moment so if you if you're thinking about getting a console for gaming it's better to get a console that has a large amount of games on it it just makes more sense to me to be honest also in comparison to other other consoles like xbox and switch i guess it just in general has better quality exclusive games i feel like ps4 and sony just put much more effort into that the next positive is the fact that it's very long lasting i've had mine for about five years or so and it's like the only problem i've had with time is the fact that the fans tend to get very loud and i don't really clean my ps4 because i'm not trying to touch that and mash it up but you should clean it or dust it off because all the dust that builds up can cause the fan to get very loud especially when i'm playing call of duty or some game that demands a lot from my playstation but nevertheless let's move on to the final positive of this product and that is ps plus i know what you're thinking you have to pay for ps plus but the deals that you get with ps plus really do actually help the consumer this is because when you get ps plus you get to play three games, three or two games each month and you really get to experience different games. My favourite game from PS Plus was Detroit Becoming Human. I never really thought of purchasing that game but PS Plus gave me the chance to play that for free. And you can keep the games even after the month is completed. Unfortunately, if your PS Plus doesn't run out, you can't play the game no more but you can always renew it for £6.99 for one month if you really want to play the game and finish it. But it gives you just these deals and discounts on certain games and stuff like that. I've used it to get a Dragon Ball game on discount. So it was a little cheaper and I think I only bought it for like 8 or £10. I don't quite remember. But there's just loads of discounts and deals that you can get. And it's just very nice to have, I would say. In comparison to Xbox where you need to buy gold, live, all this mix up. This is just basically all in one. Let's move on to cons. Reasons why I believe that you should actually buy a PS5 in 2021, if you could get it. If you could get your hands on it. And the first con about PlayStation 4 is the fact that these controllers are absolutely tiny and it's shameful. In comparison to the PS5 where these controllers are more to the standard of Xbox, where it's larger, more ergonomic, these controllers tend to feel small and just annoying to use especially from someone coming from a larger console or a larger controller you really be shocked to feel these controller i'm not saying that i can't play a long time with it i just prefer the xbox controller and the ps5 controller they're just much larger and help help people that have larger hands because look yeah next positive is the fact that storage is absolutely terrible with this system you can only store up to five to six games and that is absolutely shocking for a console because you don't really get a variety right now i have 12 games but that is because i purchased one terabyte of external storage for 40 pounds so if you're thinking about buying a ps4 you need to add that to the cost if you really want to have a variety of games and every time your friend says install a new game you don't need to delete two games to install it for example cod modern warfare a terrible game that takes up too much space it's just really annoying 
But nevertheless, let's move on to the next con, and that is it's really slow compared to the PS5. The loading rates, um, the loading rates are just really slow. One prime example is GTA loading times. They're amazingly fast on PS5. In comparison to this, where it's actually really slow, it's just kind of annoying. And if you want to get that high frame rate, high FPS. It's better to just get a PS5 so you can have that more in-depth experience, that more gamer depth experience and enjoy your gameplay much, much more than what it usually is. But now it's conclusion time. So in conclusion, I would still recommend a PS4 in, in 2021. If you don't mind the slow loading time, the slow refresh rate, all of that if you just want a good story good amount of story games you get good discounts if you just want to enjoy story games and you don't really care about competitive gameplay it's still a good purchase but if you're looking for more competitive gameplay if you're trying to get those high refresh rates get that 8k all of that it's just better to go to the ps5 if you can get your hands on it but the problem is no one can get their hands on it unless unless you have auto clicker or some rubbish like that but anyway if you're looking for something more for a child age range i would recommend watching my nintendo switch video because that's more for children and more durable and something along the lines of that but nevertheless it's been your boy mr k thanks for watching please like and subscribe support the channel we're nearly at 100 subs and yeah, just thank you for watching. I really appreciate it and goodbye.